it took me so long to get the light to where it was actually like good and my microphone's on the floor also my dog is like wanting to sit right behind me she's just having a little bit of a temper tantrum because it's like really wet and like just stormy out so i mean yeah hi honeys it's your queen bee so in today's video uh okay so spring break was like last week um but I guess everyone has an extended spring break, which for people in school, I mean, I guess that's good. Molly, Molly's freaking out too. So I guess for people who are in school, they got an extended spring break. I'm not in school, I do work. Um, what are you doing? And my work hasn't really been too affected. Um, now I normally do only work on the weekend and that means that it's just normal on Saturdays and Sundays. My dog does not want me to sit in this chair right now. She's freaking out. She's trying to push me out of the chair. <laughs> but anyways, so yes, um, my work normally is on Saturdays and Sundays. Sundays whenever I have my guard stuff and then Saturdays when I'm working at the comic shop. Stop, stop. So this video is spring break review. So spring break, I had work. I went to my first drill um, at my new unit. Um, and then me and my mom got really sick that Friday night going to my new unit because it was uh, Saturday and Sunday had work. We went to this place called McHugh's. I love their food, but in the next town over, they're really trashy people. We got sick. My mom, she been to her hamburger. What was the chicken patty? The chicken was pink disgusting um so yeah the one in our town gucci the one in the next town over trashy because the whole town is trash i don't want to sugarcoat anything so i tried cold stone creamery for the first time i got the coffee ice cream with the cookie chunks i don't like coffee ice cream i love coffee but not in ice cream form and then monday i had lunch and dinner with my boyfriend because we didn't know when the lockdown was going to take place we were just trying to spend as much time as we could um obviously he does stay the night here he does spend um quite a lot of time over here i do i do spend quite a lot of time over there um and then also i have my other place that we go and stay sometimes we stay the night here sometimes we stay the night there um so yeah i've been traveling back and forth because that's basically my like, storage unit so then Tuesday, um, it was St. Patrick's Day, but I got to hang out with my boyfriend and we got to visit my grandma, deliver her groceries and stuff. And she hates being locked up. She's with her boyfriend right now, um, self-quarantined. She obviously goes back and forth. Grandma goes out all the time. She always goes to this place called The Boat. She gambles. Um, she parties, you know, like my grandma is a partier and this is killing her being home. Like she feels sicker being at home, being away from all of her friends then like, I, I don't know, it's just whatever. So we visit my grandma, St. Patrick's Day. I hung out with my boyfriend. We went to a graveyard, I posted that picture. And um, yeah, it was really cool. It was like a family grave. Um, I don't know whose family, I just, I we passed by it and he pointed it out. And I've, I've noticed it a couple times going to my grandma's house, but I was like, I wanna actually look at it. And then Wednesday I had work, had to do shipment. And then um, yeah, I had work. And then I had dinner with my boyfriend. <clears throat> I'm not sick, I have allergies. So yeah, Thursday, um, I had <laughs> work and I went through um, a severe, and I'm not trying to play this lightly. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm real with you guys. I had a severe mental breakdown. I went into like a very deep wave of depression and I was like, I can't do this. I was like, I, I hate this. My life is so boring, just blah, blah, blah. Woe is me, first world problems, I know. Um, but yeah, I was just talking to my boyfriend. I'm like, I actually think my life is so boring. And I was just like, I hate this. I was crying, I was so sad. And I was like, I, there, I have no reason to be sad. I have two wonderful jobs that let me work on the week, like whenever I want to. And I get a lot of money from that. Like I'm not gonna flex on you guys, but I mean. <laughs> so I get a lot of money, like obviously, I'm not poor or anything. My family is very well off. Yeah, no, I was just in a very deep depression on Thursday. And then Friday, it was a little bit more, um, not more so, it was like about the same. I had work, I had work Friday. Um, I think I hung out with my boyfriend Friday. I can't remember. Yeah, I hung out with him Friday. 
He stayed the night till Saturday. And then um, Saturday, me and my mom went and we got food um, and other stuff. So yeah, spring break uh, basically worked. Um, I wasn't supposed to work until this Saturday actually, but I don't have to work Saturday because I've been working Wednesday through Friday, Wednesday through Friday, you know what I mean? So my boss was like, no, I don't want you to work and he's gonna work and he's not too old. He's not too worried about this stuff, um, but I am the youngest person at work. So I get to be manager for a couple weeks. Yay. I like being a manager. Um, I literally just sit there and I do nothing and then customers come in and I or I wore makeup once on Wednesday and this guy, he just, um, he looked at me. I can't remember when I filmed it. He looked at me, he left, he came back in. He's like, um, are you guys open? And I had the open sign up. I had the door thing like flipped where it's like, come in, whatever. And I was like, yeah, we're open. And he's like, oh. And he's like, who are you? And this was one of the regulars. And I was like, um, <laughs> Joe, like, his name's not Joe. I don't even know what his name is. I was like, Joe, you know me. And he's just like, who are you? And I was like, whatever. So I just go back to like writing notes down. So I was just writing stuff down. He goes um, over to get his comics and he's like, aren't you the girl that left for the army? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, you look different. And I'm like, yeah, because I had my hair down, it was straight. I had my hair down, and um, normally I have it in a ponytail, I have no makeup on, like I look like trash, I look like a rat because I'm cleaning normally, and I don't want to wear something too nice, and then get dust and gunk, and I, I won't even tell you guys what I find in those boxes like. So that was pretty much my spring break. Um, today's Monday as of filming this. So what did I do yesterday was, spa stuff. I fed my snake and I did spa stuff. So yeah, um, I tried, excuse me, I tried doing my nails. I redid them. They're iridescent white. Um, I use the powder stuff. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. So what I was going to get into with the virus. So obviously with the virus, my uh, job schedule has changed. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna be working this week because the state has like, I live in Illinois, they have like a state mandated like only um, essential workers have to work. I don't know if I'm gonna be working this week, um, but I'm still gonna keep the same schedule as like two days a week because honestly it's less stressful for me. You know? And the only reason I'm working at the um, comic shop now is because um, my boss's parents work there and he's like, well, in case, something has happened and his mom's on a respirate, like a um, oxygen tank, like a respirator thing. So she already has pre-existing, like it's a respiratory disease, um, that kind of thing. So he's like, well, maybe you guys should stay home. So that's why they're staying home because um, with an oxygen tank, you are way more susceptible to the disease um, or infection, whatever it's called. And a bunch of my friends with asthma I don't have any other problems that would put me at risk to getting this. Um, that's not to say I can't get it. Uh, I'm just not scared. That's the main thing. I guess I shouldn't say I'm not like worried. I'm not scared. Like, am I worried I could pass it to someone else? Yeah, but am I gonna be like terrified and lock myself in my house? I have to go out today and I have allergies, so I'm ready for people to haul me off to jail being like, she coughed and like sniffled, but yeah, no. Like I know friends that are self quarantined because they have asthma, but they smoke. So dumb. So yes, um, obviously if you're susceptible to getting um, sick, uh, stay home. It sucks, I know, stay home. I'm not staying home because I got, I got stuff to do. This will blow over and you guys will see. And I'm not any, I'm no political person. Like I don't care about politics. I don't care about um, whatever it's called, like things with the earth. Like I do my part. I can only control myself. That's how I view it. So I don't care about no political party. I haven't voted. I'm not voting till November. I probably won't vote until like earliest July. Patriots, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so this is nothing political. This is all my opinions. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. And obviously I want you guys to stay safe because if you don't stay safe, who else is gonna watch my videos? no one um if you're all dead obviously so yes please 
do me a favor. Do not have like a baby boom. Do not cut your bangs. Like there are a lot of things you can do in quarantine, but please wash yourself, protect yourself like sexually and just be smart. Don't cut your bangs. Okay. You don't need them. And I mean, just don't get on, don't get on social media all the time. Watch movies, read books. I mean, I have a whole list of books I'm reading right now. Like social media and the online, it's just gonna make you more paranoid. Don't watch the news. Watch it maybe like at night or maybe not even at night. Watch it like throughout the day, like maybe you're eating lunch or something. But if the news is something dreadful in the morning you wake up, you're gonna be dreaded. You're gonna be just miserable the whole morning throughout. But then if you watch it at night, you're gonna be falling asleep and you're gonna be having nightmares of like the corona taking over. Other life advice I can give? Don't panic, that's just stupid. If you're panicking and you're over buying stuff, I went to get milk. I couldn't even get milk. I had to get the small containers because there was no milk. Uh, yeah. Uh, with all that being said, I think that was pretty much it. I had a decent, um, uneventful, really, work field for once, um, spring break. Uh, I actually did something for St. Patrick's Day this year. Normally I don't because normally I'm out of town for something else, um, which is crazy and weird because spring break. But yeah, so just stay safe. Don't panic. Don't worry. Nothing bad's gonna happen, I swear. Um, and I know there's been a couple deaths already, um, but you have to realize those are people who are already like pretty sick. Um, <laughs> so they probably just got it and they're just, that was the final lit. That was it. Like that was the final straw. Um, which is sad. So sorry for you guys' loss, for whoever has lost someone for this. But I'm also very sorry for people who have, um, or had the flu, um, or anything else. Like, cause that sucks too. You can die from anything. Um, even getting in the car, you can die in a car accident, you can die in a plane, you can die in a train, a boat, and anything else. Even dogs can kill you. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be surprised if my dog, like, killed me in my sleep. Um, but yeah. So there's that. So hopefully this video was fun, educational, informative, and entertaining, and not too serious, not too dreadful, not too, um, hopefully I didn't make an ass of myself, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, just whatever, I have my opinions. Maybe they're uneducated, whatever. Maybe they are um, clearly, clearly mostly emotional um, because it's just how I feel. And I don't watch the news. I don't watch politics. It's just whatever I see when I happen to see it. That's it. Um, life to me is still going on. It's still moving. The world isn't stopping for me. I still have groceries to get. I still have dogs to get medicine for. Um, and my dog's almost out of medicine. So it's kind of a little bit concerning. Um, but yeah, she's been she's doing a lot better actually. So I think she could like, if I need be, could probably stop taking it for a week. If they have a shortage of it, it's for Cushing's. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like the world's gonna keep going. April's coming up. Uh, I think we're supposed to have either a alien invasion, a zombie apocalypse, or the random chimp event. I don't know what's gonna come, but the government is distracting us from something. I think it's the pigeons because they need new batteries. I haven't seen any birds in my house for a while. And normally we have like blue jays and red robins and whatever they call like we have birds but we have no birds right now we just have squirrels maybe it's the squirrels but in all seriousness i love you guys hopefully you had fun spring break if you did get to go anywhere i know one girl went to hawaii for a day and then came back but yeah so um what else do i normally say uh with all that being said thanks for stopping by love you